CJ Hopkins, yeah. who we've been talking a lot about and reading a lot of his stories. Um, <clears throat> love him over on Substack Notes. He's there pretty often, pretty accessible. Yeah. Political satirist, me, <laughs> that's CJ, under criminal investigation in Berlin. Yes, how about that? So he announces uh, this last no. week that the Berlin state prosecutor has launched a criminal investigation on him for tweeting the image on the cover of his book, The Rise of the New Normal Reich. How oh, nice. But here's the letter oh, from Germany. Of that. Yeah. Yeah. So he is charged with disseminating propaganda, which the contents of which are intended oh. to further the aims of a former National Socialist organization, in, which is punishable by imprisonment for not more than three years or a fine. Yikes. So they're they're claiming he's pushing Nazi propaganda. Gotcha. Yes. The propaganda in yeah. question is the image on the cover of my book, which image will be familiar to the thousands of readers who bought it and read it. It was a Barnes and Noble and Amazon bestseller upon its release in 2022 and continues to sell quite well internationally. What is the book cover? Mm. It's really hard to even tell. Oh, yeah. But blend it in there on the mask. With write-ups from RFK Jr., who we know the establishment has spent tons of time going after, canceling anything affiliated with RFK Jr. recently, uh, especially YouTube is censoring anything that RFK Jr. basically talks about because it also talks about vaccines in a lot of cases. Um, you've got a Matt Taibbi quote. Yeah. You've got a Matt Taibbi quote. You've got a Max Blumenthal quote. Freaking Shout out to, uh, dude, I love that guy. Max Blumenthal, killing it. Uh, he was also in Secaucus, New Jersey, at some event um, at Icarus Fest this weekend. He got to talk to a couple of the the INN friends That's and family. That's where they all fly too close to the sun and then fall back to the ground. Kerp, Kerp, was the, Kerp was there, and they all did a stand-up on Friday night. Kerp. It was a, there was a Phantom great zone. It was a great uh, dun, 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 dun. All right, so, as you might recall, the book was banned by Amazon in Germany, Austria, Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands last August, which was the time of his alleged alleged Twitter crimes. So Germany also started passing a law. I actually got a email recently and they're alerting me that someone had submitted um and reported one of my tweets to a German authority. And, but they've actually cleared me of being safe or, you know, not violating German policy. Well, thank you very much. Because I try Watch not to do that. Profanity. Well, we all try to do that. Um, so prosecutor's notice orders him to respond to the charge within two weeks. So it's possible to the, uh, that the deadline to respond was today, uh, the day that he received the notice of the investigation, which was dated May 25th in the mail. That's crazy. It took him two weeks yeah. to deliver it. Hmm, I wonder why they, why it did that. <clears throat> Along with my response to the charge, I'm ordered to provide the prosecutor with all my personal identification papers and documentation of my net monthly income. Papers, please. Obviously, the cover of my you book play is... play Papers, Please? You should play Papers, Please. No, Very I Very good not. game. <clears throat> but obviously... Florida Air Stalker. The cover of the book is not propaganda intended to further the aims of a former national socialist organization. Anyone vaguely familiar with my work over the last 30 years is aware of my fierce opposition to fascism, totalitarianism, and all other forms of authoritarianism. The charges are utterly ridiculous. Swastikas are banned in Germany if they're used to promote Nazism, fascism, neo-Nazi organizations, etc. However, they are allowed to be displayed for the purposes of civic education, countering anti-constitutional activities, art and science, research and education, coverage of historic and current events, and similar purposes, according to German law. That's the quote. Given the circumstances, I have to assume that the Berlin state prosecutor has launched this absurd investigation in order to punish me for my aggressive opposition to the rollout of the new normal or to intimidate me into silence. There's quite a lot of that going around these days. Just ask Matt Taibbi, Roger Waters, Sushirik Bakati, and I, uh, Indie Media Award honoree Kid Clarenberg, among others. It is possible that these trumped-up charges are also a result of my criticism of the official Russia-Ukraine narrative, which is also possible, but 
He's been pretty tough on the NATO-backed neo-Nazis and the official propaganda the corporate media has been churning out. Agreed, but they've also been letting a lot of that go and letting more of the truth out over time because I think that they're looking to move on to Taiwan. But I could be wrong. Whatever the actual reason is, I am, needless to say, angry. I will be responding to this baseless and unsupportable charge in robust fashion. I'll keep you posted. And in the meantime, I need to go hire a lawyer. CJ Hopkins is an American who lives in Germany, by the way. Uh, heartfelt thanks to everyone expressing their support. Rest assured, whatever the new normal fascists do to me, I intend to use this ridiculous investigation as another opportunity to shine a bright fucking light on the new totalitarianism I've been writing about for the last three and arguably seven years. Shout out to CJ Hopkins. Um, I'm, I'm going to tease it out, but... He's getting an indie, media, uh, an indie Media Award this year, I can tell you right now. He's already written enough that he's going to be getting one. But i that's not going to be till October. And what was that? Was that you? Was that me? Who was that? What up? I don't know. I don't know. That was you. Oh, that's your voice thing. Oh, I know what that is. Yeah. Uh, so... Um, free CJ Hopkins. Ha ha ha. I'm not really free, but support CJ. This is bullshit. Um, yeah, more censorship, more coming after anyone that's opposing the security state, more people coming after those that question the official narrative and that poke holes in the nonsense on a regular basis. So big fan of CJ Hopkins. Give him a shout. Give him a follow. You can follow him on Twitter. He's like CJ Hopkins underscore Z23. And uh, you can follow him over here on I'm Substack as well. Anthony Hopkins. No. He's also guy. got a website, cjhopkins.com. And he also writes for Off Guardian, who wrote up a piece supporting him. We so, stuff occasionally. Off Guardian's great. I love those guys. <laughs> They're funny and they're completely banned and censored and they tell the truth, but you know, they got this, this kind of news guard rating that they're quote unquote it's fake news or whatever. And no, they just question stuff. Yeah. Max Blumenthal is definitely living rent free in some people's heads in a lot of people's heads. Coming um, to a sub stack near you. 